Hey guys, Stuart here from Stuart's Tarantulas again. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video um, is dedicated to most of the beginner tarantula keepers out there, novice tarantula keepers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, myself being mostly a, a intermediate um, experience in terms of uh, keeping tarantulas, I must be honest. But in this video, I'm going to put together a list of my personal, my personal, please don't think it's a, a top list that someone's endorsed on me or anything like that. It's not at all. This is my personal top, top eight. I'm, I'm instead of like top five or top 10, I thought, let me do a, um, like a, something different. I'm doing a top eight. This is my top eight beginner friendly tarantulas in my opinion uh, that I've based it on my experience in keeping um, quite a lot of tarantulas, um, experience keeping tarantulas, beginner tarantulas. I've got a host of tarantulas but I thought in my experience as an intermediate keeper I thought I would relay this on to all the novice keepers. This is my list of I would say top eight. I will have a few special mentions in this video as well, which I, I just couldn't not mention these spiders because they're so fantastic. But I'm going to uh, showcase eight spiders. And like I said, I will showcase a couple others. Uh, I must, however, for, this, for the purpose of this video, I must give a big shout out and a big thanks to Sean of Tarantula Matters and to Nick of Tarantula Lab for your guys' help um, and um, how can I say help and some advice in your uh, in in helping me get the best top eight that I can think of. So uh, a big shout out to 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 Nick and to Sean um, guys. If you need spiders, if you need stuff. Go and visit Sean. Go and visit Nick. I'll put a link to their websites in the description of the video. Tarantula Lab as well as Tarantula Matters. So if you need spiders, you need stuff, you they your, your go-to guys here in South Africa. So I'll put a link to their website in the description of this video. So as I said, this is my personal list of top eight. Special mentions will be in the video. I hope you enjoy. Guys, if I can ask you to subscribe to my channel just click that uh, or smash that note that that subscribe button and bell notification button i'd really appreciate it um it helps me bring up more videos um and like i said my my channel is targeted at mostly at all your all the beginner keepers out there who who need help um i'd, I'd like to know that i'm helping a lot of keepers out there and a lot of, uh, well, not necessarily breeders because I know what they're doing, hopefully, but it's more for the beginners and the intermediate keepers and people just for interest sake. I hope you enjoy the video. So give us a like, give us a subscribe and give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate the love and support. So enough of me talking. Let's get into this video and we shall start with my top eight, uh, top, top eight beginner tarantula species, in my opinion. That's just like, like I said, in my opinion. So guys, enjoy. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you in a bit. So guys, here we go. I'm going to start this with some honorable mentions. The first honorable mention that didn't make my top eight due to its skittish nature and its urticating hair is the Brachypalma auratum or the Mexican flame knee. As you can see there, she's busy eating a cockroach in this video clip. Uh, I do apologize for the uh, video clips uh, that I have got um, down lights that are unfortunately interfering with the video footage. And I've got front opening door cages and not uh, top opening cages for the purposes of this video. But yeah, this is the Brachyphalma auratum. Um, it would be in my you know it would be in my top 10 for sure however due to its skittish nature it is um more of a an advanced beginner or intermediate beginner spider to have in your collection just a bit of a background this tarantula is 
endemic to the region of Guerrero and Michoacan in Mexico. Its appearance is very similar to the Mexican red knee or the Brachypalma homori. Although it's a little bit darker and has a little bit more discreet red striations on the patella, um, the form of these red markings have earned the spider its common name in the flame knee, as you can see those flame knees in the footage below there. It was apparently confused with Smithy, Smithy years ago, but um, it's, it's now classified definitely as or oratum. So its conservation, it is basically currently on CITES, so it is illegal to collect in the wild in Mexico from where it's native. So it is a good spider to have in your collection as long as it's captive bred. I must say it's one of the most striking and beautiful spiders in my collection. As you can see, my this is a mature female and she's busy feeding on some roaches that I have uh, given her during this um, this this show and tell, if I can put it that way. But yeah, this is the Brachyphalma oratum, uh, and it's one of my honorable mentions in my top eight video. And up next, uh, number two on my honorable mention list of spiders is the Brachypalma albiceps, or commonly known as the Mexican golden red rum tarantula. Um, it's a light golden color with a darker abdomen. It's got beautiful black legs, that golden carapace, that red setter and its abdomen make it indistinguishable to, um, in terms of its beauty as a, as a spider. Native to Mexico, this spider is a fantastic spider to keep. Um, I would recommend it for a beginner, but it's, it, because of its urticating hairs, it can be a little bit of a hair kicker. So that's why I have taken it out of my top eight as such, unfortunately. But a beautiful spider. They are slow growing. They live up to about 15 years. In terms of husbandry, they like to be, the, you need to keep it on the drier side. Um, not too not too high on the humidity levels, dry substrates, water bowl, a hide, a very simple tarantula to keep. Um, as it's a Brachypalma species, oh, apologies for the lighting here again in my video. Sorry, my downlights are playing on my cage in terms of my enclosures. So they are protected by, they are endangered in CITES listed as in much of the Brachypalma range. Brachypalma species, so yeah, they are illegal to keep, uh, sorry, to catch and capture in Mexico, so they are protected. Females get about 65, uh, sorry, 65 millimeters in length, their body size, diagonal neck span about 15, 16 centimeters. So a fantastic spider to keep, in my opinion. I This is my beautiful mature female. She's got about a 16 centimeter diagonal leg span, an absolute stunning spider. So, yeah, let's see if she'll take this roach down, which I'm sure she will. And, um, yeah, if you are an advanced beginner, if I can call it that, a fantastic spider to put into your top 10 must-have tarantulas. That beauty is unmistakable, and you can't go wrong with a Brachypalma albiceps, uh, a good beginner tarantula, so it is one of my honorable mentions. So, yeah, let's... Uh, so let's go to the next one, but yeah, you can't go wrong with a lot of the Brachypalmas, especially this golden red rump. She is an absolute stunner. Oh, there we go. Takedown is done. There we go. And that's it for the second honorable mention. Right, guys. Now we start at number eight on my top beginner species to keep as a beginner. This is the Lassio Sino Sazamai or previously known as the Terranopalma sazamai, or the Brazilian blue tarantula. Look at those beautiful blue coloration on the species. It does have urticating hair. It, uh, some species are known to be quite skittish. Um, they are quite a small species. They don't grow excessively big, but that absolute beautiful blue coloration in their legs, abdomen, and cephalothorax, or the red setter on the hair on the abdomen, make it indistinguishable. This girl is going into a bit of a pre-mold, so she's actually dull in a bit dull in her coloration. They 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 do need a relatively dry, not too much in 
terms of humidity, not a high humidity dependent species. Just keep it on a basic terrestrial setup with a water bowl, a hide and substrate. Um, they are native to Brazil and they, like I said, they get, they get a probably about 15 centimeters. So a fantastic, fantastic beginner tarantula spider to keep. And at number seven on my list, guys, is the Carabiner versicolor, or the Martinique pink toe. Uh, previously called Antilles pink toe, but it's now Martinique pink toe. Or even it's been called the Martinique red tree spider. Uh, you can kind of see why. As juvies, these spiders are... Oh, sorry, as slings and juvies, these spiders are absolutely stunning. They come out in a blue coloration. This is a mature female. She's a young mature female, I should say. They do get a bit bigger than this. As you can see, she's um, on, her, on her cork bark hide, and she's about to take a roach. There's a nice takedown for you, as you can see. Now, these are also a new world species. This is the only arboreal tarantula in my top eight beginner tarantula uh, recommended tarantula for beginners it's very docile it's not that skittish you can only pick up urticating hair from it if you literally there's another takedown sorry if, if you literally rub up against its its abdomen um to get urticating hair but it doesn't flick urticating hair or anything like that as you can see she's going down her burrow a uh, little tube they make these these beautiful web tubes that they live in. Um, they absolutely stunning when they come out uh, and they're a pleasure to view and care for. Um, they need a nice arboreal setup. In my setup, I've got some substrate, cork bark hide, some fake plants, a water dish at the bottom, but an absolute beautiful and docile tarantula to keep. They as you can see in the video, it had quite a, a good feeding response. The females live up to about 12 years of age. Males, unfortunately, only live about maximum of about three years. They are native to the Caribbean and Martinique, uh, where the temperatures there get, or recommended temperatures to keep them in, in summer is about 26 to 28 degrees and around about 20 to 24 in winter. But an absolute beautiful spider. And then you can see her inner height. So that's my num my top set. Now coming in at number six on my top beginner tarantula is the infamous or famous Mexican red knee or the Brachypalma homoria, homori. An absolute staple of the hobby. A great beginner tarantula. They can have sort of attitudes, um, if I can say, a bit of an attitude sometimes, but a lot of the time they're mostly calm, fantastic spiders to keep. Uh, my female here is not responding to food at the moment. She is a mature female. I've had her for around about, I must be honest, I've had her for around about 15 years since she was a juvie. They are pretty slow growers, medium to slow growers. Adult size, they get to around 16 centimeters. They are a new world. They have urticating hair, but like I said, they are pretty calm and great spiders for beginners. Of the Brachyphalma, I think that I, I would rate them, in my personal opinion, as one of the best. Now, this is her enclosure I keep her in. She's got lots of ventilation. I keep her relatively dry because there are the origins, they do come from Mexico. So their um, favorite habitat is semi-dry to not dry like a desert, but a scrubland type of um, setup um, with uh, not high humidity requirements. Just make sure you've got a, uh, a full water bowl at all times. And uh, just to let you know, females can grow to live up to about, they've been known to live up to 30 years. Males only grow to get about five years in, uh, in age. In here, I keep her with a, with a hide, some deco, some fake plants, uh, some leaf litter, and there's a water bowl. And, but just look at those beautiful, beautiful red knees. It gives it, or orange to red knees, it gives it that, info, that famous name of the red knee. 
And these are seen in a lot of movies. So a great beginner tarantula. That is my top six, guys. Right, and coming in at number five is the Gramostola pulchra, or the Brazilian black. This is un, an unmistakable spider and an absolute staple to have in your collection. A, one of the most stunning Gramostola species out there. These are a new world terrestrial spider. Sorry about the lighting there again. Apologies for the reflection. Uh, this is a fantastic beginner tarantula species. It's very calm. Unfortunately, it's a very slow growing spider. That I must be honest with you. They're very slow growing. They can grow up to, they can grow up to 30, 30 years uh, plus, I've heard. Um, recommended climates, they are from Brazil, uh, the origin, so the recommended climate to keep uh, around about 26 degrees in summer and around about 22 in winter with a slight humidity around 60%. So you can keep it relatively dry, but just make sure there's a full water bowl like I have there with my uh, female and make sure there's sufficient substrate, a, a cork bark hide. I've put some deco, some false, uh, some uh, plastic plants in there. Uh, cork bark hide and some and actually climbed up that piece of cork bark on the right hand side you can see there there's her hide she's an absolute stunning stunning spider a great beginner spider it's a must for your collection uh, an absolute a black beauty among all tarantulas it's famous for being one of the most docile of all the tarantulas um, like i said it's got a very calm temperament and can be skittish as slings and as youngsters but as they mature they calm down and they have a very long lifespan, like I said, close to thirty years or so. Um, it's not a shy, it's not a shy spe species, and it makes a fantastic, fantastic display spider. It doesn't kick hairs much at all, from I, from what I've had mine. It's an absolute beautiful spider and a must for every collection. Uh, in in South Africa, they are quite rare uh, and pricey. So if you can get your hands on one, get one and keep it it is a brilliant spider so up to number four on the top tarantula beginner list is the euphalostris campestratus or the pink zebra beauty as you can see look at those knees it's an absolute stunning spider this is my mature female she is approximately 15 centimeters diagonal leg span i have had her for about 10 years now they are fantastic, fantastic beginner spiders. They're docile, they're calm. I've never witnessed the spider kick urticating hairs. They are a new world, so they do have urticating hairs, but an absolute gem of a spider. They, they originate from Brazil and Paraguay. Their recommended um, climate to keep them in, in cap captivity is between 24 up to 28 degrees in the summertime and as low as 18 but recommended between 24 down to not much, not lower than 18. Um, they do come from Brazil so yes they, they, they do require some tropical climate in terms of humidity so they do need a little bit of humidity so I keep mine, mine in a terrestrial enclosure. I've got some deco, some fake plants, I've got a a, a cork bark hide for her and a relatively deep substrate she's got a, a burrow she's made uh, through the cork bark hide and she's got a burrow that she she sits in a lot of the time but for this video she's out posing for the camera so an absolute beautiful beautiful spider to have in your collection it's very hardy it eats well it can go on some hunger strikes when it's eaten enough. As you can see, my female's abdomen is very plump, so she isn't eating. As you can see, there's a roach there. She hasn't taken it, so she isn't, uh, she isn't in any state to eat at the moment. She is well fed, so never overfeed your spiders as well. So that is, that is my number four, the Euphalastrius campestratus or the pink zebra beauty. Right, and we're into number three, guys, on the top beginner tarantula list. Now, this is the Gramostola rosea NCF, or normal color form. It used to be previously known as the Gramostola porteri, uh, but they have now combined the red color form and the normal color form into the name Gramostola rosea. So this is my this was actually my very first tarantula I got and I have had this 
this beautiful spider for about 17, 18 years now. It was my very first tarantula I ever got. And she is a slow grower, I tell you. But now she's, uh, she is a big girl. She's relatively big, very slow growing. And she's approximately 17 centimeters uh, diagonal leg span. They are very slow growers. They grow, they, they live up to about 25 years. Males only five years. They, they do originate in, uh, in Chile, um, where the recommended climate there in summer for husbandry purposes is, is around 27 degrees in summer, down to 25, and then in winter, around about 20 to 22 degrees. So a basic terrestrial setup is required um, with, as you can see in my setup, I have got a, a water bowl there. I've got it in a terrestrial setup, uh, some fake plants. I've got some um, deco. I've got a burrow there, a cork bark hide and a burrow that she goes into. And uh, apologies for that irritating downlight on my video. Apologies for that. But anyway, um, my cage is only open from the front and not from the top. So I've got some fake plants in there, relatively dry, keep a full water bowl to give it a little bit of humidity. There's the hide in there, but look at that absolute beautiful spider. This is a staple amongst beginners. This spider will hardly ever kick urticating hair. It is a new world, so it does have urticating hair, but my spider never ever kicks hair. So that is my number three, the Gramostola Zaya. So guys, down to number two on the list of best beginner tarantulas. Now this is the Gramostola pulchropes or the Chaco golden knee. I couldn't make up my mind whether to make this number one or number two. It was such a hard choice. But in the end, this landed up number two. It could have easily been number one. This is the Chaco golden knee or Gramostola pulchropes. It's, this is a mature female I've got. She is around about 17, 18 centimeters diagonal leg span. She, she's a big girl. Um, she likes to burrow. She um, lives in this terrestrial enclosure. As you can see the setup there with, I've got some fake plants. Um, um, a very similar setup to the uh, Gramostola rosea. A very similar setup one can use. Uh, cork bark hide tube sub substrate. For it to burrow, as you can see, she's dug all that soil out from her burrow and deposited it there. <laughs> and there you can see the back there in the bottom right hand side. You can see her where her burrow extends to from the cork bark hide. She likes to sit in there a lot. So this spider comes from subtropical Paraguay, recommended temperatures in summer around 27 degrees and in winter down to not more, not lower than 22 with about 60%, 65% humidity. So like I said, a terrestrial uh, setup is required and you need about 10 centimeters of substrate. This is an absolute staple and a, one of the best spiders to have as a beginner. You will never look back. Those beautiful golden knees, the calm disposition of the spider, it's like a teddy bear as well it's an absolute gem of a spider and a must-have not just for any beginner but for all tarantula keepers out there this is an absolute must-have tarantula and one of the top tarantulas any tarantula keeper whether you novice beginner or experience would want so this is the Gramostola pulchropes or the chaco golden knee number two on the list and number one, guys, is the Talitocautal albopelosis or the curly hair tarantula. One of, well, the best and my number one ranked beginner tarantula. It's a new world terrestrial. It's got medium growth rate. As you can see, my, my, my mature female is there. I'll try and give her a roach shortly. Females live up to about 25 years of age. The, the males are shorter lived up to about five years or so. She's not taking roaches, as you can see. The recommended climate conditions in summer, you, you know, in captivity, between 24 to 28 degrees and nighttime temperatures between 20 to 24 degrees, not much lower than 20. Basic terrestrial setup is recommended with a substrate of about 10 centimeters in depth. Provide them with a shelter, a hide. They do like to burrow. 
and tunnel, but a lot of the time they're out on show. So this spider comes from Costa Rica, so it likes a subtropical environment, probably around about 60-70% humidity, but a super, super spider to keep. It's another one of those teddy bear tarantulas in the hobby. So that is it, that is it guys. That is my number one best recommended, in my opinion, beginner tarantula in the Talitocotal alba pelosis or the curly hair tarantula. This is her enclosure, water hide, substrate, about 10 centimeters deep, some deco, and a cork bark hive tube. So that is it. That is my mature female. And that is my top eight beginner tarantulas that I recommend for all the beginners out there or who are in the hobby. Hey guys, so that is it. That is my top eight uh, recommended beginner tarantulas for all the beginners out there. What did you think? What do you think of the top eight and the, the two special mentions? My personal favorite on the arboreal is the Caribbean Aversi color. And my personal favorite is the Brazilian blue. I love all blue spiders, blue terrestrial spiders. So guys, what do you think? Drop us a comment what your thoughts are, what your favorites are, or if, if you think there are others that you, think, you feel are good beginner spiders, be interesting to get your feedback from all the beginners. So guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. Again, a special uh, thanks must go out to Sean of Tarantula Matters for your, for your input. Really appreciate it, Sean. And to Nick of Tarantula Lab. Nick, I appreciate your support. Guys, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, I've got a link to the, um, their websites in the description of the video. Go check them out. If you need help with spiders, you need spiders, you need stock, you need uh, anything relating to tarantulas, any help, advice, uh, you can drop us a comment or get in touch with Nick or Sean for that matter. But yeah, guys, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't mind, if you wouldn't mind liking the video, subscribing, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification uh, icon for more videos. And I will be seeing you real soon for some more videos to follow. So guys, if you've got, if you've got any other suggestions or what other videos you'd like to see, please drop me a comment. Let me know. I really appreciate your feedback. So guys, until next time, have a good one. And remember, love your spiders. Enjoy. I'm out of here.